Hello everybody, welcome back to another reaction video. Today I'm going to be reacting to Ruby Volume 6, Adam Character Short. Now, this is the only character short we're going to get, I think, for Volume 6 before the volume comes out next September. Um, and I am planning on reacting to the entire volume this time, even though I said I was going to do Volume 5 when I did that character short. Um, I really wasn't feeling it at the time. I didn't like the still and kind of grown on the animation and that sort of thing and I still didn't like volume 5 even at this point volume 4 has grown on me but I'm still not the biggest fan of volume 5 but either way I will definitely be doing the reactions to this season or this volume they might not be week by week depending on how I feel about it but I'll definitely do the whole volume you know so I'm just gonna get into this and watch it um, about seven minutes so that's pretty good uh, so yeah let's just watch it I do like Adam and I hope they are able to fix him because he's well I do I like the idea of Adam but I feel like his kind of what they've done with him in the show so far has really undersold you know what this idea of this character should be so let's hope they actually do think nice of them in this because he has the potential for a pretty scary villain um so yeah let's just go what's up everyone if you want some more cool animation go check out No Matter Nowhere so oh yeah, I stopped directing yeah, to Nobody Nowhere. I didn't really care about it. Guy? So uh, rocks with faces. And uh, some people got guns. Do they sound like pew pew? Sure. Pew pew bang bullet gun. And what is white fang? Is it? All right. Yeah. And you said no cameras. Yeah. Sure there are. Pretty sure you work here. I work in labor. I'm not even allowed near processing. Uh, this doesn't feel right. So these are the new white fang. Maybe we should just leave. No. It's time we stood up for ourselves. Adam. Our kind's been beaten. Adam. Murdered. <laughs> treated like dogs. Taking this dust oh, is only illegal in the eyes of the same people that call us animals. Yeah, I love that. I <laughs> show you. Yeah, you're right. Hey, what's with the custom mask? Kind of makes you look like a grin. Oh, is this this prequel then? Yeah. So this is not want them to the old, old white fang. But we should make sure they never forget what we looked like. Hmm. Now, it's time we got what we deserved. This is him kind of growing it. That's a cool looking truck. Oh dear, yeah, yeah. Please, we're just trying to pass through. <laughs> well, you animals pass through the wrong town. There's no need for violence. Oh. Oh, a new song. What the fuck is he up to? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> nice. Yeah, he's like ruthless. You're all freaks. <laughs> that wasn't necessary. <laughs> well, this is the very reason they think they can treat Kira. He saved your life. He's a hero. <laughs> the animation looks better. I think they've they've updated it. I do like it. It looks the kind of shading and stuff. It was I think. an accident. Was it? This wasn't the first time humans have died on missions you've led. How many more accidents are there going to be? I don't know. I'm out there fighting for us, and when you fight, people get hurt. What? Do you want me to just abandon our cause, like your parents? No. 
I'm not saying that. I... I don't know. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have brought them up. I just get scared when it feels like you don't believe in me anymore. <laughs> I never said that. Thank you, Blake. <laughs> it's good to know I've still got you. Such a prick. I love it. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, wow. She's like the, um, what was it, Aslan or whatever she's called? The chick from Volume 3. With that kind of like roped out thing. It's not as nice as actually using the old robots for it. Amazing how the animation can fluctuate, innit? Like this this sequence is all fucking brilliant. Like this is amazing. But that bit a minute ago was dreadful. Kind of axe body spray. That reminds me of the Carolina thing from season 10. Ravi B. Where she got the grenade. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. That chain thing must be a fucking nightmare to animate. Adam. Yeah. Let's move. You continue to be an extraordinary resource to this organization. Everything I do is for the Faunus. <laughs> I'm sending you back to Vale. You're to assume control of the Brotherhood there. Thank you, High Leader. Adam, if you continue along this path, you might just find yourself standing beside me at my throne. Or behind you. With a with a sword, sword through you, not like yeah. Hi, leader. Oh, there we go. We received the message from Hazel. The raid on Haven's gonna be more complicated than we thought. Don't worry, nothing will stop us now. It's time I got what I deserve. <laughs> the sounds of Adam getting what he deserved. That's really fucking funny. <laughs> this after he got not even fucked up really, just after he got screwed over by a fucking one punch elbow to the head. <laughs> Alright, well, that's pretty good. So it's kind of just showing his journey from, you know, the beginning to where he is now um love the bit with you know blake i think it's like something that they really need to do to kind of show that because they still they're still not really being clear as to whether these two are like you know like mentors or not mentors like whether he was like a mentor or like a relationship you know it's kind of like implied and it's supposed to be kind of gray because it's supposed to be a little bit unorthodox and a little bit weird and you know they kind of show it there where He's essentially just a manipulative, manipulative kind of prick who, you know, is kind of controlling her, really. And it's kind of, it, you know, in that scene, he's kind of a different person because that's who he has to be to kind of get her to follow him, which is good, you know. I mean, it's not good in the context of the show. It's good, you know, right in because it's interesting. Um, Animation-wise, I think visually... It is, has improved. You look at Sienna Khan, I think she looks like... You can kind of see, like, I think the shading and that sort of stuff looks a little bit different and a little bit better, you know, which is surprising that they can, you know, up the visuals. And in terms of animation, um, I think the first scene in, the, like, the forest 
or not the first scene, you know, the second bit with like Gira and all that. I think the animation there was a little bit too, you know, how it's been in the previous two volumes, um, and something that I'm not the biggest fan of, where he's kind of like spinning and like doing all these weird flips and stances, you know, and it doesn't look brilliant. It's not dreadful, but it's nothing to shout about. But the scene after that, you know, where they're in, I assume, an Atlas military base or something like that, um, was all really good, you know. His anime, especially like Sienna's, even Ilya's was pretty good, so... I'm really glad that turned out the way it is and hopefully you know that quality persists for the rest of the season or at least parts of the rest of the season you know obviously if the, if there's 50-50 in this one character short you know to expect it'll be brilliant for the entire volume seems a little bit optimistic but it does give me hope that it's going to be decent and there's going to be some good moments in there um and yeah and just in terms of seeing how this character, I think that his voice acting has got a little bit better. You know, like I said, I think Adam is probably one of my favourite characters in terms of the concept, but just the kind of uh, delivery of him, you know, or like the way that he's actually been shown in the show. I think the voice acting lets him down, the writing lets him down, the action lets him down, you know, he just kind of like gets screwed over by the show for a character that could be pretty interesting and dynamic. And the voice acting, I think in volume five, it was a little bit improved. And then in this one, it seems like it's improved a little bit more. So I don't know if... I can't remember who it is. I think it's... um, It's like an in-house Rooster Teeth guy. Or like... Was he like Screw Attack or something like that? I can't remember who it was. Um, But yeah. It's it's getting a little bit better. And he's kind of losing... I suppose he's not losing the grizzliness. You know, where he's kind of that like... Move up to the next car. You know. in, In the kind of flashbacky stuff in this, like when he's talking to Blake, it kind of just sounds like a normal guy, which is it sounds better than that grisly voice, but also I feel that's kind of intentional, you know, like he's trying to talk to her and be kind of like I say, manipulative so it kind of works that he's not having the full on voice, but I think it sounds a lot better um, but yeah, what else, what's that scene between oh yeah, him with Sienna where, yeah, so he's getting sent to Vale and then Obviously, he's in the chair. Uh, and so, yeah, that's caught up to where we were. He didn't really get that fucked over, though, did he? Like, I mean, in the end, there, he was kind of, like, limping, like he'd been, like, stabbed or something. It's like he got, like, shoulder barge. Oh, no, what did he do? Then he went like that, didn't they? Bang. Like, that was all he got done, really, that I remember. I don't remember there being some big fight. He just, like, ran away. So I don't know why he's suddenly injured and dropped his mask. Um... I wonder if, like I say, they they didn't, they didn't show his eyes in this one. For some, I feel like he's going to have, like... I saw something earlier today where somebody said they think he should have silver eyes, which I think is fucking stupid. But it'd be cool if he had, like, bright blue eyes, or, like, some, like, baby blue, completely unthreatening eyes, you know? Like, something where... If they wanted to show it, they build him up as this really, like, sc- scary character... Or like tough and like ruthless and then you see his eyes and it's like the eyes of like some like really weak person you know I think with like some bright blue eyes maybe they could do that because you just look at him and go like no and maybe that'd be why like he covers his eyes because they don't look threatening enough that'd be a, I think that'd be a cool idea maybe that's just me um but yeah I think it was good on overall I'm kind of enjoy- looking forward to the season if that animation style persists and the writing in this, the writing in this was fine, seeing Gira, you know, I suppose seeing him and up, not up against, but you know, him and Sienna, Sienna and Adam are kind of like on the same wavelength, whereas Gira's on a different one, you kind of get a sense of why he stepped down, you know, so it's nice that they can cram all that into a seven minute thing, you know, you get little snippets from every time frame and story arc that we've heard about, you know. So that's I think it's pretty well done. And I think maybe I think better than the volume five character shorts. I really didn't like them that much. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for the season. I will definitely be reacting to it, and we'll see how it goes from there. So if you enjoyed this reaction video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe to stay up to date with my content. Like I say, I'll be reacting to the volume, so subscribe if you want to see that when it comes out. Otherwise, my name's Epros, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.